Hello and welcome to the workshop. Today's video, it's a little bit different than normal. No sneakers are involved. I repeat, there are no sneakers in this video. Today we are going to rank every single jersey from the 2018-2019 NBA City Edition. Let me say first and foremost, I have taken my love and hate for teams out of the equation. If a jersey is high on the list, it's because it looks dope. If it's low on the list, I don't have a problem with that city or that team. I just don't like the jersey. My brother and I did this last year and people, some people were offended. They got pretty fired up that their city was low on the list. Just know it's love regardless. We're just talking about the jerseys, strictly the jerseys. Last year was the first season the NBA did this and this year it was interesting to see some teams really pushed it and tried to be great and others were very, very lazy. With that said, let the listage commence. I'm gonna run through 30 to 20 real quick. A lot of these could be interchangeable, but this is low on the list. Who, who really cares? It's, this is the bottom, the bottom tier right here. Number 30, San Antonio, basically the same exact jersey as last year. 29, Utah, same thing. Top 10 last year, but it's the same jersey. Lazy. 28, Orlando, didn't like it last year, don't like it this year. 27, Washington DC, again, too similar to last year and less cool. 26, Phoenix, cool color, way too blah. 25, Charlotte, not as good as last year. 24, Boston, nothing special. 23, Memphis, same. 22, Sacramento, decent. 21, Chicago, not crazy about it. I love Chicago. The Jersey, not crazy about it. So that's the bottom 10. Now things start to get a little warmer. Number 20, Dallas, kind of warm, but doesn't wow me. 19, Atlanta, the Hawks have a rich history in fresh jerseys, very rich. This one, it's good, but it's not great. 18, Philly clean i like the sweatpant look hoodie season is upon us jimmy butler's in philly now but still this is just warm 17 portland very middle of the pack for me which is why it's at number 17 it's warm but this is when you aren't sure if you want seconds yet so you leave the food on the stove on low while you eat your first plate fat boy tings this is this is a simmer right here 16 detroit the colors are a little bit bland but i like the idea behind it i like that they tried something new to me that goes a long way 15 the los angeles lakers getting more warm here love the pop love the pinstripes something is a little off with the execution number 14 the Los Angeles Clippers. The colors aren't as cool as the Lakers jersey, but I think it's executed better. It's a little more polished. 13, Golden State. Pretty similar to last year, yes, but a very, very cool design. I, I, I dig this jersey. Number 12, Indiana. Not a huge Pacers fan, but like I said, I'm taking my hatred for Reggie Miller out of the equation. It's a good jersey. I like it. Kind of retro, kind of modern, race cars. Ricky Bobby approved, two thumbs up. 11, Miami, the colors are dope. I feel the South Beach thing is a little bit played out at this point, just a tad, just a little bit, but the jerseys are still very, very dope. I dig them. And now it is time for the top 10, the cream of the crop, creme de la creme. Here we go, number 10, Toronto. Very simple, there's not much going on color-wise, but I love the symmetry on it, six God worthy, this is just a really nice jersey. Simple, but very dope. Nine, New York, my beloved Knicks. My beloved Knicks, I wish I could put them higher, I do. I think it's a nice jersey. The colors, I love them, but the skyline isn't quite clean enough for me. I think they could have made it look more realistic, more finished. I think I would have liked that more. It feels a little rushed to me. I love the idea, the execution, a little off. Eight, Houston. This one is fire. Now we're really heating up. This is kind of the turning point for me. Everything from this point on is absolute fuego. Seven is OKC, fire, absolute fire. I love this jersey, the colors, the homage to Native Americans. The whole thing is really, really good. 
I, I, I love this jersey. Six is New Orleans. I Again, I love the colors. I love the revamped retro look. Something about this style throwback that I've always loved. Again, it's just a clean look. Sometimes you don't have to do the most. Simple when done right is hard to beat. Five, Denver. Yes, classic. One of the most iconic jerseys ever, the rainbow skyline. It's, it's honestly, it's one of the best jerseys of all time. So the idea isn't new, but it is still so damn money. Four, Minnesota. Now we are in 38 fire emoji land. This jersey is next level good. Homage to Prince, the colors, the details, the everything. D Rose, I need you to drop another 50 ball in this jersey for the culture. You got to do it. Three is Cleveland. The Cavs don't have Braun anymore, but this jersey is incredibly dope. These colors, just off colors alone and how the jersey pops, I think it's my favorite in that regard. So there's not like a ton going on, but the colors are just, just wow. Really, really good. Two is Brooklyn absolute volcano lava and i'm not a nets fan i am a biggie fan though and the kooji biggie love here honestly i wanted to put it number one i wish they did the whole jersey in that kooji sweater print not just the trim kooji is super loud so why not make the whole jersey like that don't get me wrong i do i love it but i think i would love the all over print even more the only christopher we acknowledge is wallace Number one, if you've been scratching off the list and you know what this is, number one, Milwaukee. The reigning champs back again. Whoever designed this jersey and last year's jersey, if it's the same person, get them a raise. Back to back bangers. The colors, the inspiration, the fact that it's equally bold and as dope as last year's, but so completely different. They switched it up entirely and it's still the dopest of them all. They didn't play it even a little bit safe. I love the way it turned out. Giannis is gonna be destroying people in this jersey. It is incredible. And I'm, I'm not even a Bucks fan. I'm not even a Milwaukee guy, but this jersey, you gotta tip your hat. You gotta do it. Milwaukee, amazing. And, and there you have it. The entire 1819 NBA City Edition collection. One to 30, 30 to one. These are just our opinions, though. Buckets and I discussed this list before we recorded it. That's what makes rankings and style and all this stuff fun. We don't all have to agree. Leave a comment below and let me know, let us know, where did I go wrong? Where did we go wrong? Which jersey is your favorite of the bunch? Which is your least favorite? Which one is fire? Which one sucks? Your top five, your bottom five, however you feel about the NBA City Edition. However you feel about these jerseys, leave a comment below and let us know always love to hear from you thank you for watching you are very very appreciated we will be back tomorrow same time same place but tomorrow's video will include sneakers today you know we did this video last year we had a lot of fun with it interacted with you all and it was just really really cool so we did want to do it again this year and we'll probably do it again next year so i got nothing else for right now oh but tomorrow's video yeah there's gonna be sneakers so don't you worry until then i'm out